first tonight and all new. This is now Tropical Depression 13. It's on the move in our direction, and it's something we absolutely need to watch. Good evening. I'm Lauren Pastrana. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. It's a system that's still far out in the Atlantic, but tonight it's looking more like one we may have to prepare for. The first advisory from the National Hurricane Center is just in, so let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. Craig. Well, this is not a really big surprise. We thought that this was going to develop and maybe just a little bit ahead of schedule since it was struggling just 24 hours ago. But it's our 13th tropical depression now and uh, winds at 35 miles an hour. It is moving quickly to the west northwest, west northwest at 20, and this fast motion is expected to continue. And then it should slow down a little bit uh, by the time we get to the weekend, about um, 1,035 miles east southeast of the northern Leeward Islands. There, here is the threat cone. Remember, the threat cone shows the outline of the old cone where the center is expected to be plus the yellow area the threat for tropical storm conditions and you can see this is the Friday evening period here we're in the northern leeward islands Saturday morning we are near or north of Puerto Rico and then Saturday night north of the Dominican Republic there and then Sunday we're into the Bahamas here and then Monday a bit of a turn there to the northwest and Yes, it looks like it's crossing South Florida because, in fact, this forecast track is. That's the Monday evening position. And you can see the yellow area shows tropical storm conditions coming into the Keys and South Florida sometime during the day based on this advisory, sometime during the day on Monday. So certainly we're going to have to prepare for a tropical storm here. But I'm going to show you something in a second. We might have prepared for a hurricane here. Here's what's going on tonight. First off, it is getting better organized. You can clearly see it swirling there. There is the center right now. Now, the earlier models were run off the old position so this new center is a little bit to the north here is the computer model ensemble from this evening and there we are on Saturday so there's Puerto Rico and right now all the models are north of Puerto Rico and if it stays on this track right here it's going to have very little land interaction in fact it won't be disrupted by land the hurricane center said in their advisory they kept the forecast strength a little bit low just because there's that possibility it could go over land and it still could very well but right now at least based on these models it looks like it was still over water and in that case it would be a strengthening storm quite possibly a hurricane so what does this mean for us what do we need to do we'll talk about that coming up in just a bit